Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video, reporting to you live from City Hall here in Schenectady, New York. We are here to investigate Mayor Gary McCarthy. I received numerous tips regarding allegations of corruption and ty tyrannical behavior here. So I wanted to come out and check it out myself and go live with each and every one of you. Make sure to hit the like button and share this video so it can be seen by as many people as possible. Very beautiful city hall here. Remember, our goal is to promote transparency and accountability within our government and peacefully exercise our First Amendment right. Never to harass anyone or anything of that nature. You all should know me by now. but. So we're gonna see if we can make an appointment to speak with Mayor Gary McCarthy. And we are going to submit a FOIL request. Just looking for the city clerk's office. Let's see if we can find, let's do the mayor before. we get to our FOIL request. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where the mayor's office is? If you go outside, it's the last one I left. Last one I left, thank you. See, not a problem. We are in the mayor's office right now. So they're saying that they came in and they handed their paperwork and someone um, waved at them saying that everything was all set and uh, Hi, I would like to see about how do I get in contact with the mayor? I'm sorry, can you stop recording me? I just record all my interactions with government officials. Yeah, but can you please stop recording me? I understand that you don't want to be recorded, ma'am, and but it's my policy to record all my interactions with government officials. What is this regarding? Um, I would just like the contact information for the mayor I'm investigating a story on him. Um, how would I go about setting up an appointment with him? We're going to, I can take your information and we're going to give you a call to set it up. What is your name? Sean. Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S. And I can give you my email. Okay, and what's your email? LongIslandAudit at gmail.com. Do you have a phone number, Sean? I'm just going to provide my email at this time. Okay. Um, we're going to email you to set that up. All right. Can I get the mayor's card, too? Um, I don't have the mayor's card right now. They're all in a meeting, but I can give you Michelle's. Okay. She's the uh, director of talk. operations. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. All right. So we have the director of operations card. I won't hold my breath for the... Uh, the email regarding an appointment to see the mayor. 
So we have the assistant to the mayor's office here. Hey, how are you? It's very beautiful. I love the old buildings here. The architecture, just being able to document that experience with you guys. And normally you guys wouldn't be able to see things like this if you're not from the Schenectady area. Make sure you're hitting the like button and sharing the video so it can be seen as many to as many people as possible. Payment of taxes. I wonder if we were to get financial records directly from the Department of Finance. So restricted area over here. Hey, how are you? Do you work for the Department of Finance? What do you mean? What can I do for you? Uh, do you work for the Department of Finance? I work for the city. I'm the commissioner. Yes. One of the commissioners here? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was looking to get some financial records. Okay. Um, well, have a seat. I have somebody come out um, and see you. All right. Thank you. There's somebody that wants to Hey, you want to come in? Sure. Hey, how are you? Yeah, sure. Hey, I just got a call today. Um, uh, and I did just cancel my surgery. Yeah. Did you end up getting sheets for Misha? Oh, listen, I gotta call you back. That's somebody here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sit down. Thank you. Yeah. So far, so good. I'm glad he uh, went over to another room. I don't want him, I don't want his personal business. Normally I don't do live audits, but I don't want his personal business. Not on the internet. Anyone else anxious? Why would you be anxious? We're only doing constitutionally protected activity. Back 
How you doing? Hey, sir. How are you? What's your name? My name's Sean, sir. Sure. And your name? I'm Anthony Ferrari. What are you doing? You filming? Yes. Why? Just taking some pictures and video. I'm an investigative journalist. Okay. Uh, what can I help you with? Um, I just wanted to know what, what would be the process of getting financial records for oh, the city. You would uh, to get financial records. You, would it just be a FOIA a request? Fi- a lot of financial records are online. Right. We have our audits. We have our budgets. We have all that stuff going back like almost ten years. Uh, the other way you can do it, you file. Uh, a FOIL request. A FOIL request to uh, the law department. For specific documents, for specific, yeah. Yes. Yeah, because I doubt you have like the mayor's, you know, um, the, the the card of the, the credit card of the mayor posted online, right, with the transactions. The mayor, I don't think the mayor has a credit card. He doesn't use a credit card for expenses. No. Are, are there credit cards no. issued to the city? To very, uh, the to city people? has one credit card, but we use that for, you know, basic, uh, uh, what is it, what is that? Uh, Oh, what's that? What's that company called? Uh, Home Depot stuff like that for you know right. for our guys to you know to get you know uh, equipment you know when they need you know wood and stuff like that for, especially for emergencies you know. Understood. All right, sir. Thank you for your time today. I really okay. appreciate it. What was your name again? My name's Sean, sir. Sean. Yeah. What's your last name? Just Sean. It's just Sean. <laughs> well, I'm just Anthony. All right, just All right, Anthony. Sure. <laughs> thank you for your time. Interesting, usually mayors and all the... elected officials and higher ups, commissioners, directors, they usually all have some sort of credit card. So I don't know if I believe that. So I believe where you submit your FOIL request is downstairs. Public notices over here. That's the security checkpoint that you walk through. So there used to be a policy here, just so you all know, there used to be a policy in this building where you had to hand over your government issued identification in order to gain access to the building. But that's not the case anymore. They have removed that unconstitutional policy, which is a good thing. Let's see what offices they have down here. Is it just me or was that the same guy talking to security about me? Just the journalist investigating a story. So what office is this? Uh, What office is this, ma'am? I'm just taking some pictures and video, ma'am. Who are you? I'm an investigative journalist. Who are you, ma'am? He's an auditor. What was your question? What, what office is this? This is waste collection and water and sewer. Excuse me. Okay. There's no videotaping just inside the building. Excuse That's me, sir? No videotaping in the building inside when you walk past the security area. Right? Can I get your name? No. I can't get your name and badge number, sir? Are you not law enforcement? Your, your shirt says Schenectady Police. Excuse me, Jack, can I get your last name, please? Excuse me, officer, can I get your name? Can I get your name, sir? 
I just wanted to know where you got the authority to tell me that. That's all. Can you expound on what he was telling me? He was saying executive orders by the mayor's office. Executive order by the mayor's right. office. That says no videotaping from this point forward, except for um, some public hearings. Except for public hearings. Yes. So what are the consequences? Where did the mayor get the authority to do that? It's an executive order, executive law. Executive order. If you want to talk to the mayor's office, you can talk to them about it. But okay. We have to ask you to stop, and if you don't, we have to ask you to leave. Well, you can stand over here and film. That's right, this is a public building though, right? This is not a restricted area of any kind? Yes, under the executive order of the mayor, he has the authority under the Supreme Court decisions and other court decisions to set that up. He has the authority to eliminate the First Amendment no, journalists. No, if you want, to go to the mayor's office. They'll give you a copy of the executive order so you can see for yourself. Right. And see the court, see the, the citations that they gave. Right, right, right. Okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And you got to turn off the video now, okay? Yeah, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to turn it off. It's it's for my protection. It's for my. Can I help you? It's my right, okay. sir. It's, it's just me investigating the city hall here. Well, you have to you have to turn it off. We have to ask you to leave. Sir, I'm here conducting business. I'm investigating. I understand what you're saying. By this order, you're considered to be trespassing. How could I trespass in a building that's funded by taxpayers? Because the executive order says. From this point forward, you can't videotape. If you do, we have to ask you to leave. If you refuse, then you consider trespassing. Well, sir, I'm not going to give up my constitutional rights. I'm a, I'm a member of the press. I'm a journalist. I'm recording for transparency and accountability while I'm conducting my business. I'm just documenting my business that I'm conducting here in City Hall. Why is the mayor afraid of cameras? I don't understand why the mayor would be afraid of cameras. Is the mayor in today? Um. Because I would like to get a copy of that order for sure. Uh, I don't see his vehicle, but that doesn't mean anything. To be honest. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sir, you gotta stop. Sir, I, 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 thought, I thought I made myself clear. I, I'm, I'm not making myself clear. This is an executive order. You can't video the, but the, the Respectfully, idea. sir, the, the executive order does not trump the United States Constitution well, and our constitutional does, rights. It's cited in, in the executive order. It absolutely does? Yep, yep. How does it do that? It's uh, U.S. Supreme Court decisions. Do you mind so, if I... I'm gonna go upstairs and take a look at those. Take a look at it right here. There it is, the executive order. That's our copy. You can look at it. But you have to stop recording. And so this is my First Amendment right. I'm not trying to harass anybody or be... I, I totally understand what you're saying. And I hear what you're saying. I'm not trying to but be this, difficult this, with you. This is an executive I'm, order. I'm here to file a FOIL request, Freedom okay. of Information yeah, you can do Law that. Request. If, if you want to explain Thanks. the and I will do it. Okay? okay, sure, go ahead. This is an executive order. It's been drawn up by the city. It's been approved. They cite cases. And this is the way it is. If you want to go, go for your FOIL request, then you can, but you can't record the on security point. If you want to stand there and record this area, that's acceptable. Well, what's the reasonableness of it? What is the what is it's, the purpose? Is purpose. it just because the mayor doesn't want it? You know what? You have to ask the mayor about that. Right. Okay. Out. So I'm going to go ask the mayor. Okay. You can't record. So Sir, I'm just going to go ask the mayor and, and conduct my business. Asked, okay. You, you can't record. You're going to be asked to leave. You're being asked to leave. I'm, you continue to record. You have to leave. Sir, I'm going to go conduct my business. I have a FOIL request. I have a First Amendment right fine. to access information. I understand that. Right. But and I'm just documenting that. But you're violating executive order. We're telling you you can't do that. You but that executive order it. violates the Constitution, well, sir. It doesn't. I, I, I know that leave. it does. I know that it does, okay, sir. Well, now I'm going to ask you to leave. Sir, I'm going to go conduct my business that I'm here. I have a FOIL off. request. <laughs> I want to submit a FOIL request. No. You got to leave. I want to submit a FOIL request, you, you sir. You can't. All right, this is fine. You have to have, leave. I have business Turn it to conduct off. here, sir. Well, you, it's fine, but you can't record beyond the security point. Sir, I'm recording as a journalist. I'm taking some pictures and video and documenting my experience as a journalist. if you read the executive order, it lists the outline, the guidelines for that to take place. So you can either record from over there or turn it off and go do your FOIA. The police are on the way. I just want to conduct. That's fine. The police can be on the way. Okay. That's fine. So you can't. You can't. You, no, you can't so record. I would appreciate right? it if you didn't get in my way in any way, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you, you have to leave. Sir, I would appreciate it if you didn't get in my way. You're I'm now trespassing, you have to leave. 
If you don't leave, you'll be arrested for trespass. Sir, I'm just trying to conduct my business and, and, be, and, and, and leave. And you know what? I want to conduct my business You're and leave. You're violating the executive order by the mayor. I've asked you to not record. I understand that, in sir. In compliance with the order, you're refusing, so now you have to leave. Well, sir, if I just want to conduct leave, my business and you'll leave. You'll be arrested for trespass. Right, sir. I just want to conduct my business and leave. That's all I want to do. I want to document you my experiences, record my government officials, which is my First Amendment right, government officials in the course of their duty, as I'm conducting my legitimate business here. Okay. I'm not just walking around. I have a legitimate business to conduct, sir. I have a legitimate business to conduct here. You cannot conduct your business without recording on I'm sorry, that's, a, that's the executive order. So your choice is turn it off or leave. Sir, I'm just trying to conduct my business, that's all. I want to just do my FOIA request and then I'll be on my way. I've already spoken to the mayor's office. I've already given my, my information for the setup and appointment to speak with. I'm investigating the mayor, that's why I'm here. Okay. I'm investigating the mayor. I've received numerous allegations of corruption tyranny here from the mayor and i just wanted to investigate them i went to the mayor's office spoke to a secretary set up an appointment my other goal is to do a FOIA request for some documents i need for my story so i just want to go take care of that and i'll be on my way okay, but you can't record while you're here but sir that doesn't make any sense it's a first amendment right to record government officials in the course of their duty the executive orders there i, I understand about the you, sir you i understand it. oh can i get your name i didn't get it wager wager i officer wager i did not I understand that there's an executive order in place. I've seen it. I, it is. I'm, I am of the belief that that executive order is in direct violation of the United States Constitution. Okay. I have the right to record government officials. There's Supreme Court case law on it. Federal case law. I have the right to record government officials in the course of their duty. People v. Leonard. I'm allowed to be here. And the, 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 it's a New York State Court of Appeals case that says that the government cannot issue cannot use the trespass laws in order to violate a statutorily or constitutionally protected activity. And that's a New York State Court of Appeals case, People v. Leonard, sir. So that is a, my belief after consulting with my attorneys. That that's what I was told that the government that the government here, the, especially the mayor, there's no legitimate purpose. You haven't even explained to me a purpose on what, how does. How it is filming? Am I causing a disturbance of any kind, or you're violating executive order? But filming doesn't cause a dis. I'm not causing any disturbances. I'm just I'm peacefully filming. You are, and you know, but I'm telling you, I, I haven't raised my voice with you, sir. You absolutely have not. And I appreciate that. That's the order that we have to go by. I informed you of it, and I'm informing you the consequences. Okay. Would you enforce an order that said, you know, people of a certain skin color couldn't be here, whether they're white, black? And anywhere in between, would you enforce that order, sir? I'm enforcing this order that's in place. But if, if but you're saying you're enforcing it because it's an order from the, from your mayor. But would you enforce any order from your mayor? Do you just take orders and just say, you know what? That's you took. Your, are you law enforcement? No. So you took it. Okay. So you took an oath to uphold the United States Constitution and defend our constitutional rights, right, sir? So that's all I'm telling you is that I'm, I'm trying to do I that fully peacefully. I understand what you're saying, but I'm telling you, that's what we have, and that's this what we so, so we're So you're willing to enforce an unconstitutional order, sir? I don't know if it's unconstitutional, to be honest with you. That's fine. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm signing case law to you, New York State Court of Appeals, people will be Leonard, that the government cannot use the trespass laws in order to remove people who are engaged in a statutorily or constitutionally protected activity, sir. Okay. That's all. I, 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 am just, I am just trying to... I have the right to access FOIL documents, to FOIL documents here. You absolutely do. I, right, we're clear. So me holding a camera right in front of me, not bothering anybody, not raising my voice, I'm not breaking any other laws, I'm not breaking any laws whatsoever. You know, I might be in violation of the mayor's order, but I'm not breaking any laws. I'm being very cordial with you. I'm not, I, I'm you been are. cordial with everybody I've came in contact with, sir. So I just want to, I just want to go about my business and then I can leave. And I totally understand. And again, the order says you can't film in here. No one can film in here without prior permission. Okay, sir, so what So what happens if I just go upstairs and finish my business and leave? Because you, I'm, gonna add, I'm asking you now because you refuse to turn the camera off to leave. So if you refuse to leave, it's gonna be a trespass. But you don't have the authority to tell me to leave the building. Well, well, according to the, art, the executive order, According to order, the executive do, order, you do, do, right, okay. According to that executive order, you do, but sir, there's federal, state case law on, you don't have authority to remove somebody from a building a public building that's engaged in a constitutional or statutory protected activity and i'm doing both you said you're law enforcement i'm recording you that's protected activity under new york state law and the constitution as well as i'm trying to just gather some documents i'm not trying to i don't want to harass anybody i don't want to get into any big deal with anybody i just want to go get my foil i want to do my foil request as is my statutory right 
here in New York State, and I'll be on my way. I'm not here to hang out all day. I'm here to gather documents. I, I was looking that. for the area to do the FOIL request. Yep, Where do I do the FOIL request? Uh, two, what's the... Uh, uh, two oh, I'm supposed to start the bird's office number seven. Okay, right, sir. So I'm gonna go do my FOIA request, and I'll be on my way. You gotta turn it off. But sir, this is I'm this is my right, sir. I can't I turn it off. It's my saying. right. Executive order says there's no filming beyond the security point. But there's no reasonable, has to be reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions. If you don't turn it off, and you refuse to leave, you'll be arrested for trespass. Hello, hey, sir. How are you? Do you mind if I get your name and badge numbers, please? He yeah, came. Yeah, I'll give it to you in a second. Right? Yeah. He uh, he knows the filming advisory the same thing more than for the security point. I asked him to turn it off. He's, he's saying it's constitutional right; doesn't have to. I advised him if he refused to turn it off, he'd be arrested for trespass. I asked him to leave. He's not leaving. But he's been he's been peaceful about it. But he's refusing to leave. And follow the uh, the directives. The uh, no filming thing is pushed. Right? Yep. Yeah. And I, I gave a copy of the security the uh, executive order. Yeah. Right, so I can I get your name badge number now, sir? Yeah, I'm Officer Burke, badge number 40. Officer Burke, and your name, Officer? Officer Drummond. Thank you, I appreciate it. My name is Sean, I'm an independent journalist. I, I'm investigating the, some allegations on the mayor um, on the mayor here of Schenectady, uh, trying to get some documents. I already went up to the mayor's office and scheduled an appointment to see him. That was one of my goals. My next goal is to do a FOIL request, but they're saying that I cannot film in the building, apparently, according to this mayor's executive order. Um, I believe that order to be um, based on my, my speaking with attorneys and my personal research that that order to be unconstitutional, as well as it's in violation of uh, case law. People be more, you cannot trespass somebody from a public building, as in, it's a New York State Court of Appeals opinion, unless they um, are engaging in some type of tumultuous behavior that's making, he says I'm being peaceful, that's you know disrupting business or anything like that. I'm not, I just wanna conduct my business and get out of here. Yeah, right, you can't, can't, can't interrupt business. Right. Um, which includes, you know, sometimes if you're filming employees while they're doing their job and it makes them uncomfortable and they leave the Well, I'm not, respectfully, sir, I'm not responsible for everybody's feelings. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't, my responsibility is not anybody's feelings. Anybody could feel, they could look at me and my, you know, look at my face and feel uncomfortable. I don't know, but I'm just trying to conduct my business here. And he's saying that I'll be trespassed from the building. So if I don't stop recording or don't leave the building, are you going to arrest me? Um, so based off of the no filming, which is posted before the security checkpoint, and your advisement, if you don't stop filming and refuse to leave, then you'll be charged with trespassing. Well, sir, you're going to have to go ahead and do that. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I, I'm sorry. You're going to go have to get, go ahead and do that, sir. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to have you put down your phone. Put down the phone. So we don't break it. I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity, sir. I'm here to get documents for my investigation. I would have gotten my documents and left. comfortable? I know this one's a little tight. I can loosen it up when we get yeah. back. All right, sounds good. All right. This is a constitutionally protected activity, sir. Um, can you just get the new sign? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
cancels it. Yeah, yeah I just got me a kind of <laughs> Uh, turn this off here because we can't have phones in the back. What do you mean? I'm, I, don't, I don't want the phone. You, 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 I'm under arrest. Yeah, I'm saying how you turn it off. How you stop it because it's locked. For policy, we can't have phones running in the back. So everything's being recorded. My body cam's on, the footage's on, and the car's off. I understand. Well, so, yeah, so I if understand. you just want to tell me how to turn it off, it'd be great. I don't, I don't want you touching my phone, ma'am. I already grabbed your phone. I know. I just I don't want you going into okay. my phone. I'm not going into it. No, no, I'm asking you to just turn it off. How right. do, how I, do, I, don't... I don't want to answer any questions at this okay. time. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get this process over with. Uh, I'm sticking up for my constitutional rights, and all right. that's all I'm trying to do here today. You said you do have your ID in there? My ID is in the wallet. Do you mind if I retrieve it? Go right ahead. All right, she's going to grab yep, it. Right here. Gonna put uh, it open up. Here over. Okay. Open, open this up. up okay. Um, okay. Okay. Well, we'll secure the property in the trunk. Yep, sounds good. Here, I'll put the ID back in. Do you have the affidavit?
You want to just take him in the back? What's that?